Ever walked through the seafood aisle and picked up a bright pink fillet of salmon, neatly packaged and ready to cook? Chances are it didn't come from a wild river in Alaska, it came from a salmon farm. Over 70% of the salmon we eat today is farmed, not wild. But how does it work? How do massive underwater pens floating off the coasts of countries like Norway, Chile, and Canada manage to raise millions of fish in a controlled environment and still bring high-quality seafood to your table? Today we're diving deep into the fascinating world of salmon aquaculture. From eggs in a hatchery to mature fish harvested at sea, this is a story of biology, technology, and sustainability working together to feed the world. 1. Starting with eggs, life begins in freshwater. Salmon farming begins far from the ocean, in land-based hatcheries where freshwater flows through tanks and pools. Here, fertilized salmon eggs are incubated in clean, temperature-controlled environments that mimic natural river conditions. The eggs hatch into tiny fish called alevins, which still carry their yolk sac, a built-in food source. Once the yolk is absorbed, they become fry, ready to start feeding. At this stage, the focus is on survival and growth. Hatcheries carefully monitor water quality, including temperature, oxygen levels, and pH, to keep the young salmon healthy. Automatic feeders provide them with tiny, nutrient-rich pellets designed to help them grow strong. After a few weeks or months, the fry become smolt. Young salmon ready to adapt from fresh water to salt water, just as wild salmon would when migrating downstream to the ocean. Second Smolt Transfer Moving from fresh water to sea, once the salmon reach the smolt stage, they're ready to move to the ocean. This is a critical transition in the farming process. Specialized transport trucks equipped with oxygenated tanks carry the smolt from hatcheries to open sea farms or sea cages. These farms are typically located in fjords or coastal areas with clean, cold water and good current flow, which helps reduce waste buildup. Each sea cage is a massive floating net pan. Some are the size of a football field and can hold up to 200,000 fish. The nets are suspended below the surface, allowing the salmon to swim freely while still being contained and protected from predators. This transition is carefully timed and monitored to avoid stress or health issues. The smolt are gradually introduced to the saltwater environment to help them adapt safely. The growing phase, 18 months underwater. Once in their ocean pens, the salmon begin their growth phase, which typically lasts between 12 to 24 months, depending on water temperature, species, and desired market size. During this time, salmon are fed a specially formulated diet, high in protein, healthy fats like omega-3s, and vitamins. Feed is delivered through automated systems that release pellets at scheduled intervals or when motion sensors detect hungry fish. Modern salmon farms use underwater cameras and AI-powered feeding controls to monitor fish behavior and minimize waste. This precision feeding not only keeps the salmon healthy, but also reduces environmental impact. As the salmon grow, farm operators regularly check for fish density, monitor water quality, and even run health inspections to catch diseases or parasites early. Some farms even use cleaner fish, like wrasse or lumpfish, that swim with the salmon and eat sea lice, acting as a natural pest control. 4. Health and Safety Managing disease and environment raising thousands of salmon in close quarters presents natural health challenges. To keep fish healthy and safe, salmon farms follow strict biosecurity protocols. Workers disinfect their boots and equipment before entering any farming zone and even the boats used for feed and maintenance are sterilized before crossing between pens. These steps reduce the chances of spreading viruses or bacteria. Before leaving the hatchery, most salmon are vaccinated against common diseases such as infectious salmon anemia and furunculosis. This reduces the need for antibiotics later, which not only protects the fish, but also helps the farm meet global food safety standards. One major challenge in salmon farming is dealing with sea lice, tiny parasites that can attach to the salmon's skin and weaken them over time. 
farmers have developed a range of creative strategies to combat them. Mechanical removal systems rinse the fish with warm water to dislodge the lice, while certain farms introduce small fish, like lumpfish or wrasse, into the pens. These cleaner fish swim among the salmon and eat the lice naturally. In some advanced facilities, laser-guided robots patrol the pens, identifying and targeting sea lice without harming the salmon. Each method is part of a larger effort to reduce stress, keep the fish healthy, and deliver a clean, high-quality product to consumers. 5. Harvesting from sea to processing plant After 18 months of swimming and growing, the salmon are ready for harvest. They now weigh between 4 to 6 kilograms, the perfect size for fillies, steaks, or smoked slices. Harvesting is usually done at sea or at nearby facilities. The salmon are gently herded into a smaller net, then lifted out of the water and transported quickly to processing plants. This step is done with speed and care to reduce stress and preserve meat quality. Once at the plant, the salmon are stunned, bled, and cleaned within minutes. This humane and efficient process helps preserve texture, color, and freshness. After that, the fish are chilled and sent to the filleting line, or flash frozen if they'll be shipped long distances. Some facilities can process over 100 fish per minute, slicing, deboning, skinning, and portioning with incredible precision, all under strict hygiene regulations. 6. Packaging and Global Distribution once processed, the salmon is packaged depending on its destination. Some products are vacuum sealed for freshness, while others are packed in ice and sent by plane or ship to supermarkets and restaurants around the world. Norway, Chile, and Scotland are among the biggest exporters of farmed salmon. In fact, a salmon you buy in California could have been swimming off the coast of Norway just a week earlier. High-end products may be labeled with origin, harvest date, and even farm location, part of a growing trend in food transparency and traceability. 7. Sustainability – Feeding the Future With wild fish populations under pressure, salmon farming is increasingly seen as part of the solution for sustainable seafood. But farming fish doesn't come without environmental concerns, and the industry has been working hard to reduce its impact. One major improvement is in containment systems. Modern farms use stronger nets and deeper pens to prevent salmon from escaping and mingling with wild populations. New innovations include land-based recirculating aquaculture systems, or RAS, which raise salmon in completely closed tanks. These systems treat and reuse water continuously, creating a controlled environment that avoids interaction with natural ecosystems altogether. Another area of progress is in fish feed. Traditionally, salmon were fed pellets made partly from wild fish, but today manufacturers are replacing fish meal with alternative sources like algae, insect protein, and plant-based nutrients. These substitutes help reduce pressure on ocean ecosystems while still delivering the nutrients salmon need to grow strong and healthy. Farms are also exploring renewable energy to power their operations, using solar or wind systems to reduce carbon footprints. Waste collection is being improved as well, with some farms installing filters and suction systems under pens to capture uneaten food and fish waste before it settles on the seabed. All these steps reflect a shift toward more responsible aquaculture, one that feeds millions while respecting the planet. From tiny eggs in freshwater tanks to fillets on your dinner plate, the journey of a farmed salmon is long, complex, and full of science. But it's also a story of innovation, of using modern technology to meet growing demand while protecting the ocean and its future. Next time you grill a salmon steak or flake it into a salad, remember the journey it took. The monitoring, the feeding, the health care, and the care taken to bring you that tender, nutritious protein. It's not just seafood, it's a story of how we farm the sea. If this deep dive into salmon farming surprised you, there's a lot more where that came from. Give this video a like if you learned something new and don't forget to subscribe for more behind the scenes looks at how the products you love are made. Drop a comment below. Would you eat farmed salmon or do you prefer wild caught? Let's hear your thoughts.